Now I made a Percy Jackson video like a few months ago and I did it for fun, not because I was desperate for anything. I just wanted to talk about it because it was a trending topic. And yes, I finally read The Lightning Thief. Fans of this book love this series religiously. It's actually, it's actually really crazy. I mean, I don't consider myself a mega fan. I don't consider myself a demigod. I'd call myself a pretty decent lover. And what I've read from The Lightning Thief, it's pretty good. The story is so far interesting. I don't care what no one says, I still love the movies. And I'm still excited for the series, despite it not getting everything right. And by that, I mean the casting. Alright, hear me out. I don't really care about stuff like this, but I just wanted to say something real quick about it. Why can they make them like how they were in the books? I'm not hating on the casting, but if they know that's how they're originally made, why didn't they do it for the TV series? And obviously, it's not just Percy Jackson. There's a lot of stuff where they get race swamped a lot. So uh, today, we're going to be talking about race swamps. Like always, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's get this video started. Now, let's obviously start off with Percy Jackson. Now, Annabeth in the books is described as a blonde girl with gray eyes, and oh my... Lord have mercy, I'm about to butt. <laughs> But Disney made her black. Like, like, what? No offense to Leah. I, I think she's a really talented person, even though, you know, I, I saw her performance in that 2022 movie Beast, but... Why? 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 Yeah, I, I don't understand how that works. But the main reason why I really wasn't all upset about this was because they had already made Grover black in the movies which wasn't a problem at all. If they would have gotten his age and his character right, then maybe that would have been a, that, that would that would have never been a problem. But they didn't get that right and that's why the movies kind of failed. I still don't care. I still love those movies. So I wasn't really mad. I was pleasantly surprised. Well, kids daddy rather than lied to us. To be honest, it is faithful, but they did a couple of race swamps which made a lot of fans of the book series kind of upset or actually really upset i don't know why i said kind of really upset but honestly leah is dabbing on them haters yeah go queen go yeah and throughout the hate she's getting because she's uh she's a child what, what the heck's wrong with y'all she's still shown confidence and i have faith in her because she really wants to make annabeth chase perfect throughout all the hate she's getting i still have faith in her and despite her not being the correct casting choice i had i still have faith in her as for clarice <laughs> oh say life in the books, she is buff and tough and sort of like a frenemy to Percy. In the movie, she's annoying and also a kind of a frenemy to Percy. But in the TV series, though, sensational. Despite her not being book accurate, this is the cutest Clarice ever, man. I don't care what nobody says. The, I mean, I, I know she again, she's not book accurate, but I think this is a pretty chill casting. We got a cute Clarice up in here. As for Chiron's actor, I don't really understand this one. I mean, I kind of feel like it doesn't make any sense. I feel like they could have at least gotten him book accurate, at least. Now, there may be a few changes to some characters, but. Chiron, come on, man. I, I'm, a, I'm not trying to trash on it, but at the same time, I kind of don't understand at the same time. But overall, I just feel like it's good casting, but at the same time, mediocre casting, because it's just, if you know that's how they are in the book, then why would you make them like that? But hey, I'm not gonna judge. There was a reason why they got casted like that in the first place. They might've had good chemistry, you know, good, you know, performances, and you know, that's probably why they got casted in the first place. I mean, sure, it'd be a little upsetting seeing a black girl say some of Annabeth Chase's lines, but you know it is what it is it is what it is it is, it is what it is <laughs> next up we got velma now this one kind of hurt i don't understand why they did this they they should why can they make her like how she was in the original cartoon just why please tell me why why was this really necessary just make her a nice cool white teenager why did you have to make her into a black it's probably going to be an interesting series, but I don't know if I'm going to roll with this race swamp. It, it kind of doesn't make any sense. Again, why couldn't they just make her how she originally was? But it only gets worse. This is not Shaggy, y'all. This is a, this is an imposter. This is a faker, bro. This is not Shaggy. This is not my childhood Shaggy I grew up on. That is just some random black man with a green shirt on. Who is this? I'm very disappointed about this race swamp. And despite me thinking it will be a well-written series, I'm still not a fan of that race swamp. As for the Little Mermaid race swamp, it kind of doesn't bother me because I kind of see a black area. But at the same time, I kind of don't understand it. But overall, no, it is what it is. It's probably going to be a trash remake, but it was nice to see them, you know, make a bit of a change to it. But, you know, I'm not really that much for, you know, Disney remakes. Go check out my Pinocchio, well, quotes, quotes, review, if you even want to call it that. But honestly, in my opinion, I think it's pretty good casting, but I think the movie's going to be trash. So, yeah, there, I said it. <laughs> Real.
really nigga. And the last thing I wanted to talk about today was race swamps in superheroes. We all love superheroes. Superheroes are so important to us, like Spider-Man or Iron Man. Just, you know, classic superheroes we all love. But sometimes Hollywood stupidly race swamps a couple of your favorite superheroes. So let's talk, let's just get on to it. Now, first up, what I want to talk about is Johnny Storm's cast from the 2015 box office disaster, Fantastic Four. Well, fan four stick or whatever, it, that's a stupid name. That casting didn't make any sense. Like in, in the comics, Johnny is blonde. He's a white male and he's kind of a rebel. He's cool. You can see that because, you know, you, you can just literally see that. You can tell how he is from just the way you look at him. In this film, you you, you can't even tell what he, like what kind of casting was this? Makes no f sense. I mean, it's just bullshit. This is the useless, lamest casting choice I've ever seen. No hate to Michael B. Jordan. I love him. I think he's a spectacular actor and he's been in my one of my favorite movies. But this casting was just terrible and didn't make any sense when they clearly know in Marvel Comics that Johnny Storm literally is blonde and is a white male. But to be honest, superhero race swamps don't really bother me that much. I mean, sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it can be bad. And sometimes it can be like, what the heck were you thinking? Why did you choose that person when you know that's what they look like originally in the comics? But you know, it is what it is, you know? Like Starfire from DC's Titans that's still going as of, you know, 2023. I found that casting to be really interesting, like, like really fascinating in a way, but not in a bad way though. Just really just, uh, like, I, I don't understand why they made her black, but at the same time, I feel like it kind of did work in an unusual way. You get what I'm saying? But I do enjoy Titans, though. It's honestly one of my favorite DC shows. And Kid Flash and Iris West from the CW show The Flash, which I'm sure some people are familiar with. Uh, it's kind of trash now, but, you know, it's ending on its ninth season, so I could care less. I used to be a fan of that show, but now it just got trash. But their casting in that show, I mean, it was, it was, it was okay. I mean, kind of interesting, but okay. But I'm done. I'm done talking about this. Now you guys know how I feel about race swamps. I mean, overall, like, to be honest, it, it just doesn't make any sense, but you know it, it is what it is you just gotta move on and just go through it you know it's, it's just it's just a fictional thing and people have the rights to speak about their own opinion about a race swamp because <laughs> Yeah, they they are, they really do. But tell me in the comments if you feel this way about race swamps. Tell me in the comments if you just straight up don't like it and you hate it and you wish it never happened. Just tell me in the comments, please. Like always, make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to spread that love, spread that positivity, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. <coughs>